Hiya folks, Piglet here down at Gromont Engine Sheds. As you can see, I've got Repton behind me on steam test today. And I just thought I'd do a little video for the 75th anniversary of BE Day, an incredibly important day in our history. And obviously a lot of our steam locomotives and our railway was actively involved in the Second World War, helping support the country, moving goods around, moving troops around, and evacuating children out to the countryside. And these were incredibly important tasks that the railway was performing. And the LNER, the LMS, the Southern Railway and the Great Western Railway kind of worked together as one company. They more or less became one company during the war to help support the war efforts. And engines, including Repton, helped do these tasks. Built in 1934, Repton was obviously still fairly young back in its day working for, for, for the Southern Railway and it would have done them tasks exactly that, moving troops around, moving the children out to the countryside so they were safe from the big city. So really, really important tasks and quite a lot of our steam engines on the railway were involved in the Second World War. Obviously there's the engine Dame Vera Lynn, the 280 that was built for the war effort. We had 2253 here last year, another engine built for the war effort that was shipped out after D-Day. And all these engines were really, really important. But the most important thing was the people operating them. They had a huge, huge task to try and run a railway and keep all these supplies and people moving. And it was actually one of the first times in the, in the railway's history where women were actively involved in the operation of railways from engineers to cleaners to, 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 to helping prepare the engines, women suddenly became a very important part of the railway industry and they have been ever since. So that was a significant change. What we'll do is we'll have a look round Repton while I've got it in steam so you can see it and we'll maybe go and see some of the other engines we've also got in steam uh, around the railway as well. So here we are in the cab of Repton. One of our locomotives that operated during the Second World War. Incredibly difficult times, but as I said, these engines performed an incredibly important role, moving troops, taking children, evacuees out to the countryside from the big cities that were being heavily bombed. Incredibly important roles. And it's great that you can come and visit a heritage railway like the North Yorkshire Moors Railway and actually see these engines in operation working very similarly to how they did during the Second World War. The sights, the sounds, the smells of these machines that ran and operated and survived the war. These engines are survivors. Um, and like I say, there must have been incredibly difficult times for the people operating these locomotives. You know, an incredibly busy timetable. You've got all the risks of, of the bombing and the disruption. Um, it must have been an incredibly difficult time for the crews operating. But here we are, 2020, engine survived, it's still in great condition and operating just as it did back during the Second World War. Um, and it's a credit to all the volunteers and staff that help look after these locomotives and keep them in tip-top condition so that you can come and see them today. So here we are in Gromont Yard, and behind me we've got two very important locomotives awaiting restoration. The nearest one to me, 3672, Dame Vera Lynn, was built for the war effort, for the war department. It served over in Europe for many, many years and we eventually came back to England from Greece where it finished its work. And it was restored on the NYMR and ran during the 90s very successfully. And we're going to get this engine back up and running again for you guys in the future. And behind that is 44806. That was a Black 5 engine built for the LMS. And that was actually built during the Second World War. So again, two engines that would have seen service in the Second World War. And one day you'll be able to come and see these engines fully restored and running again on the NYMR. So all the staff and volunteers across the railway look forward to welcoming you back once this bug's done one and we can start operating a railway again. Rest assured, we'll still be here in these magnificent machines that served in the Second World War will be able to resume service um, and you guys can come and see and experience them for real. Um, it's never quite the same in a video, but I, th I thought you'd like to see Repton in steam. It's nice for us to see it back in steam again, sat ready and waiting for all this to be over. So uh, there we go, a quick look around the engine sheds. Um, stay safe. We'll see you when we're back up and running. 
like I say, if you can donate to our appeal, it'd be much appreciated. These are difficult times for the railway, but we will get through this. Thank you very much.